Well, this place looks new. A lot of cool builds around here. What is this place? Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is Block Shock, man. So welcome to. I was gonna say welcome back, but he, I, this is the very first episode, so I can't welcome you back yet. Uh, my name is That Dude Chaos. For those of you who don't know me. Um, but yeah, this is the Block Shock server, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to be playing on here, man. A lot of cool people. Uh, from the videos that I've watched already, there's a lot of cool, uh, a lot of good YouTubers and stuff, so I'm pretty excited about, uh, or Minecrafters, I should say. Uh, YouTubers as well, but Minecrafters is a little bit more general, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, so this is a server that is run by Dezo. Um, I've known Dezo for a little while, um, talked here and there on Twitter and different things like that, but he sent me an invite to join the block shock server so I am by no means uh, leaving affinity at all um, but this is just gonna be a second server for me to play on and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool so you can see the texture pack um, hopefully you guys enjoy this it's not too far away from the default textures I guess from uh, vanilla minecraft like you're still able to tell like what's what like this is cobblestone uh, this is uh, you know stone brick and things like that so you're able to tell what they are um, but they just look a little bit more sleek and a little bit more modern so this is the texture pack I'm gonna be using on this server so hopefully you guys enjoy it it's not gonna change um, unless something drastic happens to the texture pack for whatever reason <laughs> uh, but yeah so I am definitely definitely really pumped man this is gonna be a lot of fun um, like I said a lot of cool people I've met a few of them I haven't met everybody yet um, and I couldn't tell you whose house is whose um, this is the spawn area or the uh, spawn village so I don't know whose house is whose um, unless they have a sign above the door I have no clue um, I think that that's Dezo's place. I think I heard somebody say that in another video. Um, got a little chicken spawner here, uh, which I believe they have a, a, a chicken infestation over here um, because there's chickens everywhere and they're laying eggs all over the place. It's nuts, man. Uh, I have so many eggs. I've already thrown. Look, see, I just picked up another one. I don't know where I got that one. Maybe I didn't throw it. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But yeah, so uh, pretty pumped about this, man. Like I said, I'm super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, it's gonna be. It's gonna allow me to be a little bit more creative um, in a couple different ways. That's kind of. Yeah, this is a gnarly wheat farm. Um, but yeah, by that, what I mean is that I've got projects going on in my single-player LP. And I've got projects going on on Affinity. Um, and then I'm also going to have some projects on here. But the difference is, um, on here I'm going to be kind of building to a theme. I really kind of want to build, at least for the first few builds that I do, right? Um, I want to build kind of like more modern style-ish. And really focus on like the small little details and stuff. Like really go overboard with the small um, decoration details and things like that. And uh in here which I haven't really gotten a chance to do on affinity which I my build styles will carry over from any kind of video that I do um, but the trick is to just kind of make them a little bit different between servers and between my single player LP and uh, all that kind of different stuff but yeah so what we're gonna do today uh, instead of kind of going around I give you a little bit of a spawn tour there um, not too much but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a little base of operations we gotta find a place and uh, I don't know, figure out where we want to build. So I've been living over here in this little village for the last couple days, uh, just while I gathered some small, a few resources and different things like that. So I've been living in this little shack here. Um, so I've got quite a bit of stuff all saved up already. Got lots of iron, which is good. A uh, little bit of gold, some lapis and redstone and different things like that. So um, pretty excited. Pretty excited, man. Um, yeah, let's see. What, what do we need here? Uh, let's take some cobble. We'll take some spruce wood. Let's see, what else do we want? Uh, we'll take this little bit of birch that I have. We may have to go grab some more materials and stuff. That's okay if we do. Um, we can live with that. So, let's take this oak wood too, just in case. I swear I thought I grabbed this birch already. Maybe I didn't. Uh, but yeah, let's go meet the neighbors real quick. So, let's see. Um... Gotta go back downstairs. I have my bed up here, but I moved it. Um, where did I put my bed, by the way? Oh, it's here. Duh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these guys, I don't know if they've been here or if they just showed up one night, but they fell in the well, 
and I've been trying to save them, but they won't let me get too close. Um, so we got a little baby in there. He's drowning. And these guys with their eggs. Like I said, chickens, man. Um, I have seen more baby zombies on this server than I have ever seen in Minecraft ever. Um, it's insane. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off. But yeah, there's like a ton of the little, little, I don't know, nasty little buggers, I guess you could call them. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've seen a ton of them. I almost died a couple times because of them they snuck up and I swear dude they scared me so bad I was in the down in a cave like exploring and gathering materials and things like that and they come sprinting around the corner and those guys are fast gotta say um, so places to set up I don't want to build in somebody's little area and I don't want to build too close to somebody either um, so maybe we'll have to spread out a little bit I'm thinking maybe up in here would be okay I don't know I like I said it because I don't know I haven't like I said I haven't met everybody yet so I don't know if they have like future projects and stuff that they want to build here or different things like that so hmm hmm I don't know um, let's see whose place this is there's a sign uh, Cora Spawn Cottage. I met Cora. Cora was nice enough. I, this is actually a sign that I left for him. Um, he gave me half a stack of grass blocks. So I really appreciate that, man. That was like the first gift that I've gotten on here. I think he was like one of the very first people that I met while playing, too. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I left a little sign that said thank you. I don't know if he's gotten it yet. So thank you. I appreciate it. Um, oh, we've been here already. I think this is, like I said, I think this is Dezo's place. Um, or at least this one is. I would assume they're the same person because they look exactly the same. Um, and this texture pack, man, I love the uh, the wooden doors here. They look really nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to snoop too much. Let's just let's just go find a place to build. Um, hmm. Everybody's got quite of a big setup here. Under construction, one up potion shop. I like the way this looks. I like it. I also had to change the uh, color textures for the clay blocks because they were too far. Like you know how like uh, the cyan clay. Let's use cyan as an example. Cyan wool is a very bright colored wool, right? Very bluish green. You know, like cyan colored. Um, but the clay is like a very dark gray uh, because it uses the hardened clay color, which is almost kind of like a dark red mixed with cyan, and you kind of get like this dark. Uh, dark grayish blue color a little bit even yeah see it's black wool um, darker not as dark as that but it's kind of more along the lines of that that's what it looks like in normal minecraft but in this texture pack they made cyan cyan clay actually cyan so that I didn't like uh, this is a problem too it's just with the potatoes I get these potatoes have halos so that's interesting um, Oh, it's almost night time. I guess we could go back and sleep real quick. So, uh, but yeah, so I had to update the textures and things like that. So they're actually like vanilla Minecraft colors because I want to build things in this world using this texture pack, but I don't want them to look bad in the default texture pack since ma a majority of people play in the default texture pack. Um, I met ones. He was on ones, oneers. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I met him. He was on a little bit earlier, but he already took off. Um, but yeah, so this is actually take two of the first episode, um, which was unfortunate. What is this down here? Oh, this is a blacksmith shop. And it's been ripped clean. Oh, it looks like somebody else has been here too. Maybe somebody else is here. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if they live here anymore or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me go grab some... I need to go chop down some trees and get some wood. Um, and then we can have start building. I think we're going to build in a little spot that we found just a second ago. Hopefully that's not anybody's place and we won't be encroaching on anybody's territory. And, uh, yeah. Hey, there's a naked sheep over here. <laughs> Alright, well, anyways, um, I got two stacks of wood. Sorry for making that squeaky noise. I don't know. It's kind of a, a habit that I have. I really got to break some of my habits, man. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is like a little Mexican restaurant. I assume that's what that is from this. Um, Mexican or what's the other one? Spain? 
Spain? I don't know. Don't judge me on my... I, I'm not very cultured. <laughs> um, but yeah, this looks awesome. I like this. Um, nice use of the carpets here. I like that as a table. That's cool looking. Uh, but yeah, so I got two stacks of wood. Uh, looks like there's a pretty nice reed farm here too. Um, that'll be good. I definitely want to set up a lot of farms and different things like that um, as we go along. Whoops, uh, didn't mean to walk into this guy's house. I guess this is a house. Um, kind of looks more like a, a fountain or something. I like it. Um, but yeah, so got two stacks of wood. Let's go see what we can do. Um, this place doesn't need to be huge. It kind of just needs to be a place for us where we can go and sleep um, and do a couple different things. Um, you know what? Let's go back and grab some coal because I want to use some smooth stone as well. So let me grab a few more materials, I guess, and then we'll be on our way. I really like this house too. I don't know whose this is, but I really like the pattern in the ceiling for the roof. I love it. It looks awesome. Um, I like the doors too. Anti-zombie. It's the best. Uh, okay, so let's head over here. I got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of s cobblestone that will eventually be smooth stone. Um, I can't help but stare into this chicken's eyes. It's like he's feeding off our soul. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but that thing's dangerous. I fell in there and I, my inventory was almost full of eggs. So, um, yeah, so this is the spot right here. Um, oh no, what's going on with my mouse? It went weird for a second. I couldn't turn. Um, like I said, I hope I'm not creeping on anybody's territory here. It looks fairly open to me. Um, nice little cave down here. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not sure. I, I really hope I'm not. But I guess if I am... You can let me know, and then I'll be happy to move. Uh, it's just going to be a little house. Nothing crazy big or nothing. Uh, I should have brought my bed with me. Um, right now, Akipa, I'm going to borrow your bed, man. I've been actually watching a few of Akipa's videos, and I've talked to him a little bit on Twitter. Um, I think I told you we met once already earlier. But, yeah, um, Akipa's got some awesome videos. I've been watching some of his stuff. I watched uh, his block shop episode when he was making this enchantment room down here um, speaking of which this is where I enchanted my armor so thank you I appreciate it I had to sneak in here I was dying and I needed some protection on my on my armor so I didn't die anymore but yeah he's got some funny stuff I really enjoy his videos and uh, like I said earlier everybody's links will be down I was about to say downstairs, down below in the description. And uh, so definitely go check everybody out and say hi. It's going to be, uh, I'm excited to be on here, man. I'm definitely excited to be playing with some of these guys. A um, couple of the ones I know off my, off the top of my head, uh, Terrace HD is on here, um, which I've actually seen some of his stuff from, it's been a while back. I don't remember how I found him. I think I, I think it was through the Koala Craft thing too. If he was on there, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, he's a funny, funny guy. He does a lot of, uh, I've been seeing his intros everywhere. He's got one, I think he did one for, uh, Vintage Beef, which was pretty cool. And then I think he just did one for Doc, uh, which is awesome. Can we pick this up? Come on, man. Oh, it's up there. Boop, there we go. Um, but yes, yeah, so he's on here. Um... Cesaram, I think is how you say his name. Not sure. Um, I'll probably just stop there so I don't sound like an idiot um, from saying these people's names wrong on things. So, stuff and things. So, I'll just leave it at that. Um, okay, so let's clear out a little bit of this area here. Um, oh, dang, that's going to be a problem. Hmm. Let's pop that down. Let's make a couple of furnaces probably let's do four so we'll do one two whoops one two three four um we'll put sand there sand there 
So, no, we want smooth stone in that one. And then smooth stone in that one. Perfect. Uh, let's make a chest so we can dump some of this stuff off. Oh, man, that was an awful attempt at making a chest. There we go. Uh, let's do six, two. Perfect. Um, where do we <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. All right, let's just put it here for now, I guess. Uh, put some of this junk away. All right, there we go. And we'll keep a stack of cobble. And all right, I'm worried about this, man. Is this... Okay, this isn't that big of a hole. I was afraid it was just going to be, like, all covered up. Um, but it doesn't look like it's th all that big. So that's that's good. That's good. And... Like I said, man, I'm if I'm in your spot, you come kick me out. I don't care. I don't mind. I just haven't heard from anybody. I asked Dezo where I could build, and he said pretty much wherever. And so I'm choosing this kind of for my little spawn. Oh, I was, where did that apple come from? But yeah, so hopefully this will be okay. And like I said, hopefully I'm not being bothersome. Um, well, there goes my shovel. I should have brought some iron with me did I was I smart enough to bring iron with me was not uh, let's make some stone shovels I guess we probably only need two if that all right well I'm gonna clear some land and then uh, we're gonna start building all right so this is looking pretty good um, everything should be done cooking up. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, went AFK for a second, so I had a little hidey hole here. Um, but yeah, let's get another stack of this cobblestone smelted up. Um, just so I have a little bit extra smooth stone to work with. Um, but yeah, so I think this is going to be enough room. Like I said, I, this is not going to be a huge building by any means. But, uh, we'll see what we can do. So let's start. How close are we from the road? Let's go one more back. So we're four blocks away from the street, um, which is good. Let's go here. Um, just kind of marking off the boundaries of this place for now. Um, let's go there. I'll come over here. Um, well, do we want? Actually, you know what? Let's push these there so we got a nice little walk around here and then we'll push this one over one like that perfect perfect uh so it's going to be kind of like a little l-shaped building um be kind of like a, st a stubby a stubby l-shaped building but an l-shaped building nonetheless um so let's come here we'll have like a back door area here i think um We'll come. Let's see. What does that look like? That's not bad. Uh, okay, so let's throw down some cobblestone for like a base of the the house area thing. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is not going to be a very big place, but I just I want some place where we can have some storage. Um, and a couple different things so if anybody wants to come drop by and say hello or anything like that you know this is kind of a like a formal a formal little house area I guess <laughs> I have no idea um, but I've got kind of a cool idea for how I want this to look so hopefully we can get it to look proper um, Am I liking this? I don't know if I'm liking this. Let's see. Let's try pulling these out like this. And so there'll be log there. We can get rid of all of this stuff here. I think this is going to look a little bit better. It gives us a little bit more space to work with. Um, Yeah, why is this here? Oh, that was there. Okay. It's like, why is there a log there? Um, cool. This is looking good. Let me 
No, what? Hold on. Let's try. How tall do we want this to be? Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go with four. Four seems good. One, two, three, four. Oops. Three. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, so big plans on Block Shock, man. I'm excited to play on here. Um, everybody seems really cool. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but um, I'm actually kind of just kind of, kind of just kind of. I'm kind of just kind of. I'm getting back in the swing of doing the recording thing. I haven't uh, had the most time in the world recently, so I haven't. It's been a couple days since I've recorded. Um, one, two, three. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, so getting back in the swing of things and, like I said, talking. Is that right? No. Three. Okay, we won't want too high on this one. Give me that back. Uh, but yeah, talking in a room by yourself uh, to a computer screen. It's actually a little bit harder than you think. Um, as strange as that sounds. Two, three. Okay, so is that the posts and the pillars for everything um so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven um, so the middle is right there let's put in one more two three and then we'll put in one more here one two three four five six seven eight wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Okay, so that was unplanned, but I guess it worked out. <laughs> um, 11 by 11 for this back wall. Cool. That gives us some um, stuff to work with. All right, so let me figure out how I'm going to do the first ceiling because I kind of want there to be like a little bedroom area that's uh, like upstairs, but that's not like a second story. It's just like an upstairs bedroom. Um, so let me figure out how I'm going to do all this. I don't know if I like that. Okay, so this is what I got. I pushed the uh, supports up one just because I think it's going to give us a little bit more headroom. It's going to make the design of the house look a little bit better too, I think. Um, so there'll be windows here, I think, and windows here. And this will be like, these two are going to be our main windows. We may have one more back here in the back, but other than that, um, this may be the window right here, but this will be a solid wall, solid wall, um, don't mind that, <laughs> and solid wall right there. So, that's kind of what I've got, or what I'm planning right now, but let's get up here. I had an idea for design on this, which I wanted to check out and see what it looked like from down below. Uh, but if we take some stairs and do this kind of doodad right there. That doesn't look awful. Hmm. I don't know. We may mess with the roof um, another time. What I would like to do now is at least get some of a... Uh, like, at least replace the floor and maybe do some of the exterior stuff. Um, while I'm thinking about it. So... Let's do that. Let's put in some windows real quick. Oh, I need to eat. I'm starving. Slowly starving. Um, but yeah, so we'll put in some windows here and see what that looks like. So, what did I say? Main window, main window, window over there. Oh, excuse me. Burp. Uh, that's gross. Okay. Uh, let's make some glass panes here. Let's make like four of them. Yeah, that gives us a stack. Um, okay, so simple trick glass panes. You always use stairs, man. It makes the windows look so much better, I think. Um, just kind of fills it in. And the reason that I have blocks over here instead of stairs is because um, I want there to be some stuff in between. Um, so, furniture type stuff. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. Furniture is the hard part, man. I can never make like furniture that looks good um, okay so window 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 uh, let's replace this and put in another window back here 
And uh, this is going to be kind of like a back door um, that will maybe hook up to this if... I don't know if this is... I don't know if somebody lives here or if this is just like a little hut or what. There's not a whole lot going on there, so I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of... A lot of that that I've seen. It's kind of like people have abandoned or something, maybe. And, uh, I'm not sure. Dang it. Uh, there and there. We'll fix this. Fix her up. Go. Okay, there you go. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So the weather here has been awful. Um, at least today. It's been super rainy stormy which is nuts it's like storms that come out of nowhere um, that's the weird part okay so what do we want these to be I would like these to be a different color wood other than the dark wood so maybe oak wood um, but I th think oh, I got a little bit where did that other oak would go I thought I had more um, let's just craft this into planks we'll use this and see what it looks like we may not like it Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, it doesn't look bad. The floor is going to be spruce wood slabs, so it'll be darker. Um... keep seeing these that thing up there it's like the tip of that king of the ladder thing and I keep for some reason I keep thinking it's like a bird but there's no birds in Minecraft all right well the walls need work obviously um, we need to put some sort of design break the pattern a little bit um, let's see I'm not even worried about the front door right now this thing is nasty looking um, okay so let me replace the floor and then we'll see what that looks like Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. Um, kind of raise it up in some spots, and it, it adds some depth to it. Um, let's use this. Actually, let's use the leftover of this birch here. Uh, make a chest. Make another one. Might as well. Uh, let's just see what it looks like inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll put... Oh, no. That doesn't go there at all. Wrong thing. Alright, so that's not so bad. It's kind of some minor storage. Just some small decorative storage. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where we'll put our storage room. It may be like, we'll make like a little room down below. And like I said, I do want a little little room up top where, um, just like a bed case. Or bed, bed case. A bed and a bookcase are just kind of small, um, out of the way type of deal. Uh, so let's put these, whoops, let's put these doors back in. Uh, oh, we need some more slabs, don't we? Um, you know what, actually, let's take these slabs. And just raise them up. Like that. Put that there. Perfect. I like it, looks good. Um... May need some more slabs. I want to put slabs like across here, maybe, and over here. Show. But let's do something else real quick. I want to work a little bit on the exterior here. So let's make some stone slabs. Um, can't make a whole stack, so we'll, that should be plenty. But I want to try this out. So I want to put this here like this. see what this looks like um, okay so let's not go a full block let's go half a block in between like this what does this look like there's gonna be bushes and stuff around the bottom um, let's go one more
that. Let's see. What does that look like? Hey, that's not so bad. And the nice thing about it too is it doesn't really, it's kind of, they act like blinds or like shades. Um, so you can still kind of see out the window and you can see what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you can see what's going on, but you can't really make out exactly what's going on. So I kind of like that. I kind of dig it. Um, so let's see. Do we want to put one more across the top here like this? Probably won't be able to reach that one all the way around let's see what that looks like yeah I like it and like I said there's gonna be bushes down here so that's that so I may end up switching them well no because I want to be able to peek out that little hole <laughs> um, yeah so let me do some more work here I want to get this done today so I'm gonna do some work to speed things up a little bit and uh, we'll come back when I've got a little bit more to show all right all right so let's give this a shot um, I changed the outside here a little bit. Instead of having them all the way down, I've just got the two rings around the top. And they continue over into these little sections right here. But that is it. Um, I won't have those continue all the way around the house. I don't think we'll probably have some sort of pillar or something here, I believe. Um, and then I've got some leaves and stuff in the back, along with uh, bushes around most of the outside of the house. Um, still not exactly sure if I like that or not, but we'll give it a We'll give it a shot. Um, and then I also got this in here. So we got a little bit of an upstairs bedroom. This looks pretty bad in and around this area right here. I don't like that at all. Um, so we'll have to adjust some of that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call today's episode. It's getting a little bit long. Um, we got a little, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for here? overzealous because it was the first episode uh, thinking that we could pull something like this off but yeah I kind of want to definitely want to take my time here a little bit and uh, make this place look, look good since it's in uh, since it's in the spawn area and I think we're off to a good start I don't know let me guy let me guys let me know what you guys think about this little uh, spawn house here and uh, anything you guys want to see added to it or anything like that definitely let it let me know leave it down below in the comments and uh, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode on the block shock server I'm pumped to be playing on here um, definitely excited for what's to come in the future so keep an eye out for everything that's going on but uh, yeah so ah, go check all the links down below in the description go say hello to everybody on the block shock server and I will see you guys for the next episode um, sometime fairly soon so yeah anyways see you then all right thanks for watching peace